What is up guys? This is Felix and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some cool call corrections hopefully. Um, so I got a clip here with no call correction at all. Looks really boring to me. Um, so we're gonna spice it up with uh, some cool call correction. So this is the first call correction that I'm going to be teaching you how to make. And whoa! That looks awesome! Um, yeah, I hope your reaction was the same as mine. But yeah, this is the first uh, color correction that I'm going to teach you how to make. Uh, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. So then again, here's the clip with no color correction at all. And here it is with the color correction. Yep, looking pretty good. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this uh, like bonus adjustment layer or something. No, <laughs> not adjustment layer. Sorry, color correction. Sorry. Um, yeah, this is color correction. Um, kind of uh, experimental, I guess. But that, that I'm going to be teaching you how to make this in the end of this video. Yeah, so let's turn this off and select all these layers and delete them. So let's start off by creating a new adjustment layer. Oops. Okay. Um, so let's go into the color correction tab and choose curves. So we are going to push this up here, about right there, and about here. It's it's not rocket science though. Um, let's go to the red channel. Make a pretty similar curve, like so, and the same in the green channel. Here we go. So let's let's go to the blue channel. Make a really small curve like so. So, there we go. We got our curves adjustments. Now we're going to choose the hue and saturation effect. Put up the saturation to about uh, 20. It's gonna make the colors uh, a bit stronger. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now we are going to create another adjustment layer here here we go and we are going to choose uh, the stylized glow and the uh, the false blur uh, start with the false blur here, here sorry put this up to 20 um, and press repeat edge pixels um, and then we are going to create a mask. So let's push this button here. Make a re choose the rectangle tool and make a mask like so. Press this button to invert it because we don't want the blur here. Then press the F button to bring up the feather and feather this out a lot like yeah a lot something like this yeah I no I think this is too much 300 is probably alright yeah that is looking a little better but the glow is not looking good I think so let's turn this up to about 90 put the radius up to 200 and the intensity down to 0.5 so that is looking a little bit better. Um, then again, without any color correction whatsoever, and with this cool new color correction. So that was the first color correction. I'm going to show you how to make the other. It's real quick here. Um, make a what the hell? Here we go. Make an adjustment layer. 
press the effects tab and go down to color correction and hue and saturation this time we're going to uh, crank the saturation down to about minus minus 80 something like this yeah I think minus 70 is going to be a bit better yeah um, yeah kind of a black and white look grayish kind of kind of look so um let's create a solid yeah choose the color orange here um and it's time to make a little mask again choose the rectangle tool and make a simple mask like so we may, we may wanna push this down yeah maybe like so um choose uh, the feather that's F to, br to bring up the, uh, the feather and uh, that might have been too much 300 that is too <laughs> It's too little. That is well. That is decent. So, oh wait, I almost forgot. Just almost. We are going to make a quick curves adjustment to this too. Uh, so put this up pretty high. Like so, pretty harsh curve here to make this and get this look. Um, so anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something, and if you did, press the little like button below, and I'll, I really appreciate that, um, so, uh, well, that's, that's it, um, have a good day, I guess.